For many U.S. Open hopefuls, Monday was golf's longest day. Hundreds of amateurs and pros alike battled in 10 36-hole qualifiers across North America, attempting to earn a place in next week's major championship. At the Bears Club in Jupiter, Florida, 71 golfers competed in a final round qualifier, hoping to earn one of five available spots in the 2024 U.S. Open. Among them was Chris Nito, the Puerto Rican pro originally from Miami who played for the University of Florida Gators from 2017 to 2020 before turning pro. He was looking to earn his first career major championship appearance. Nito, one of three former Gators in the field along with Fred Biondi and Brett Stagmeyer, knew that Monday's qualifier was going to be a grind. I would say you just try to stay patient the whole day. I mean, it's a very long day. I can feel it in my feet right now, but um, just stay super patient and know that you're going to get bad breaks, you're going to get good breaks. It's, like you said, the longest day in golf, so just stay patient and see where, see where your game puts you. Nito got off to a solid start, carding a front nine 35 thanks to a couple of birdies, but he stumbled on the back nine to settle for an opening even par 72. He knew he needed to go low in the afternoon to secure a U.S. Open spot and make his move he did with birdies on the 8th and 9th, putting him within striking distance. You kind of have like an idea in your head what the number is going to be. Um, obviously, the number is a little low, little higher than I thought today. I thought it would be 4 or 5, and it looks like it might be 3 or 4. So you kind of have an idea in your head, and you're trying to get to that number. But honestly, you're just trying to make as many birdies as possible and hit as many good shots as possible. So... You, you kind of see see where you are at the middle of the round based off that number and whether you have to push a little or kind of stay patient depends. I had to push at the end, so I, I tried and just fell a little, little bit short. With two holes left to play, Nita was on the hunt for a top five finish. However, a bogey on 17 left him scrambling and a birdie on the final hole got Nito back to one under for the day after a second round 71. Despite the close finish, Nito stayed positive with support from caddy and friend Jorge Garcia, his former UF teammate. It's a great relationship. He's one of my best friends, so it's a pleasure to have him. To walk 36 holes with him is wouldn't really want to do it with anyone else. Nito finished just two strokes short of a potential playoff to earn a ticket to this year's U.S. Open. And while he doesn't have any other tournaments planned until summer's end, his talent showcased in this qualifier will ensure that he'll have many more opportunities to chase his major dreams. I'm Brooke Janite with Sports at CJC.